Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. In today's SpaceX news update, we're going to be talking a lot about the SN10 static fire, the good and bad news I have regarding that. Also, some interesting things Elon Musk has been tweeting out, and a few other space related news topics at the end. So, if you want to know everything, stick to the episode. Also, be sure to click the like button, it helps me out a ton. But let's get into why I clicked on the video. So, the SN10 yesterday underwent a successful static fire, quotations around successful. So everything appeared to go really well. A lot of people figured that this would be good. And locals actually got a clearance statement that today, Wednesday, the roads would still be closed, which is kind of weird considering, all right, if a road closure, or I mean, a static fire happened, why would there be a road close the day after? So Elon Musk tweeted that one of the engines is actually suspect on the SN10, and they're going to be swapping it out. Hopefully this does not cause problems like it somewhat did with the SN9. One is better than two. Only problem with this, though, is that now that they have to do an engine swap, it'll be longer to see this actual thing fly. We're not going to see a flight this week, everybody that was hoping for it. We're not going to see a flight. The good news is, though, that the FAA has approved SN10 flight once it's ready to go, so we don't have to wait for any bureaucratic, any sort of office paperwork pushing type stuff like that that's going to get in the way. But with the SN10's engine swap coming out, we will have to wait few more days until we at least see a static fire and then another little while until we see the actual launch itself so if we go on cameron county's website we can clearly see that today's road closure is actually canceled meaning that today they're going to be doing this engine swap so there's not going to be any static fire going on today if it goes smoothly and they're able to do a swap today we could see tomorrow february 25th an actual static fire again they do have road closures all the way until next tuesday march 2nd so they have the ability to do uh, test any of this time within the next week. SpaceX also had TFRs in place. However, those are going to be changing now as well due to the fact that everything has to get pushed back a little bit. And now speaking of Elon Musk on Twitter, he went on another uh, comment section asking about many different things. One of the questions though was talking about how long until the oil rigs that SpaceX purchased would be used until they could actually be operational. And Elon Musk said that one may actually be l limited operation by the end of the year limited operation uh one of them so i i wouldn't get too hyped about these things because at most we may see one partially used by 2022 though within that year i think we'll see a lot more activity someone else went to say that how are the starships going to be transported to these oil rigs and elon musk got pretty ballsy on this one he said that they're going to fly there and that this these two are not going to be the only ones that they use they want to have multiple stations all around the world that's going to be a sight to see. Watson, a Starship land on an oil rig platform. I think they can do it. They do it with the boosters on the drone ships all the time. Another thing I want to talk about, NASA's Perseverance recently gave back the very first sound from Mars. It, I'll be honest with you guys, I played it through my computer and it sounded awful, so I'm not going to play it for you guys because it, it will not do any justice. If you have the time or the interest, check it out. It's on SoundCloud. Pretty funny. So this thing may be dropping a mixtape soon. You might want to watch out for that. The sounds themselves, it, it kind of just sounds like you're standing out in a field, to be honest. It's pretty, pretty mundane. But it's cool nonetheless that there is sound coming from Mars. Who knows what could happen in the meantime if any other activity goes on. I'd love to hear the sounds that come from the rover operating on Mars. This sound specifically is Mars. It cropped out any sound and filtered anything about the rover. So... If you just want pure Mars sound and acoustics, check it out. Shift 4's inspiration mission, they have announced a citizen that will be going on their ship. Her name is Haley Arsino. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Haley. I, I cannot pronounce that. Anyways, she is an employee at St. Jude's, a former cancer survivor, and she's going to be the youngest American to go into space at 29 years old. It was a really, it was actually an inspiring story. I'm not going to say it because it's not really my place. You know, it just really wouldn't be the same for me talking about it. If it's something you guys want to look into, I will leave a link below. Really cool stuff, though. And you know she's going to be the coolest person at St. Jude's for the next 10 years, at least. Like, any any kid that goes in there is going to immediately want to talk to this woman and have her, like, helping there just because of the fact that she went into space. So it was really cool to see that. It was an interesting read. Now, again, regarding the SN10, we're going to have to be patient. we got to wait for that engine swap. We're going to see another static fire. But then I'm hopeful that by the beginning of this coming week, we will see the actual launch. 
The only thing holding it back at this point is the engine swap and the static fire. And that is all I have for you guys in this episode. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to drop a like and a comment. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I always put out updates like this.